Juan Ryan Macedonio here, and as you can see, I just finished editing the Ocas Fonse interview that you're gonna be seeing in about 30 seconds. I just want you to keep these two things in the back of your head as you're watching this interview. Number one, Oka is originally from Sweden. He only moved to America about five or six years ago. So English is not his main language. Just keep that in your mind. He speaks it very well. He knows the English language, but maybe just some of the terms and slangs and things like that, normal banter that maybe you or I take for granted, he doesn't necessarily know. In fact, I even taught him a couple of, of terms and slang words uh, on and off camera that maybe he can use in, in future. Uh, number two, I've had trouble interviewing Oka in the past. Uh, for the 2016 International Trot that he won with Resolve, he was very cocky that day and um, we did the interview and I had to cut it short as you'll see the reason why here. All right, I'm here with Oka Svonset. Oka, are you going to win the International Trot? Yes. That's it, end of interview. Yeah, so I, I had to remind Oka, Oka, let's try to keep this clean. This is a friendly family show that we're trying to put on. So I hope everybody enjoys the interview. Uh, thank you to Oka. Thank you to Sarah. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy the interview and hashtag Hambo18. All right, so uh, as you can see behind, we're here at Svonstedt Sables, the man Oka Svonstedt. We're gonna just take a walk around the farm. How's that sound? Uh, good. Big farm, right? So we'll show everybody how nice it is. So mm, okay. let's go. Uh, how long ago did you buy this farm? Uh, it's five years now. Five years? Mm. Right from Sweden? Yes, we, we moved to Florida. So we lived the first winter in Florida. And in the spring we moved up here and we bought the farm in March something. Okay. Mm. And uh, th this is a big, beautiful farm. Uh, how many horses do we have? We have uh, seven to one stalls, but uh, I think we have fifty-nine horses now. You, you, isn't that too much? No, to, it's you not want more? So much. Uh, in Sweden, I trained two hundred twenty horses <laughs> two, for the last uh, okay. eight, ten years. Uh, it's two. not so much for so, me. So Ron Burke has nothing on you. Uh, he has more horses. He has more horses <laughs> than you. Okay, all right. Uh, do uh, what's the number that you like? Is it? Uh, this, this number is good for me. I think okay. we have good horses. So, so. Oh, I'm satisfied. Good horses, good horses, right? Yes. That's what we want. Now, uh, uh, your farm is a little bit different because there's a barn there, there's a barn here, there's a barn there, outdoor barns all spread out, right? Yeah, it's a lot of small barns. A lot of this small barns. This is the biggest barn. It's the biggest barn. in this barn. All right, this is the, the, the biggest mm -hmm. barn. So do you like having small barns or one big barn? I think the the horses like when it's a small barn. It's a, quite an easy. Okay, okay. So we like that. So we can again. Yeah, do you like the outdoor? Because some some of these uh, stalls are coming up on outdoors. Yes. Uh, yeah, I like it. What about in the, the, in the summer? Not in, in the, the summer. Winter, okay. Not in, the winter. <laughs> in the winter, we 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 close them off, right? Oh uh, no! This winter we. Train up here, and uh, it was a little bit cold for a couple little, of weeks. A little bit cold. It's a little, we're in New Jersey, so uh, it but, is. Uh, we survive. You survive, right? And now, now it's nice. It's May. Beautiful weather. It's sunny. This is why you. It's just like Sweden, though, right? Same weather. Yeah, the winter this year have been exactly as where we live in Sweden. It's live, it's about the, the same, right? The last twelve years I live in the south of Sweden. It's exactly the same. It's right? exactly like this, right? So the win winter was the same. Yeah. So this is normal, right? Yeah. This winter was a Swedish winter. Swedish winter, <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll keep walking. We again, we got all these uh, these big farms, but let's talk about uh, Sweden. You want every big race there, right? Elite lap, all the the every big race, right? Yes, in Europe. In it's Europe. It's only Prix d'America I never win. But, uh, Why not? The big horses, I have raced them tough in the summer and the Prix d'America they're going in January. Okay. So then I rested the good horses. Okay. Uh, did you ever race in the Prix d'America? Yeah, I finished four one time. With your own or just drive? No, I did my own training. Okay, mm. okay. Uh, how come, uh, did you race in France at all in the winter or no? No, no. Yes, that year I have a horse for Prix d'America I raced a little Okay, year, so. okay. Now, uh, the, the Elite Lop, uh, how many times did you win that? Two times. Two times. Both with your own? 
Yes, sir. Okay. Which one, uh, what, what were the two horses' names? Uh, Gide Palema was one and Torvald Palema was the other one. Which one was better? Uh, Which win was better? Uh, the first time. <laughs> the first time, okay. First time is always better? Mm. Yes, sir. Second time you can, uh, you were, it was, it was business, right? Then I, it was I know, business I, as usual. I already, I already know the feeling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, uh, now you came over, we can keep walking. We got, oh, look, look at that. That's a white horse. Mm -hmm. Um, now you came over here. Was the goal always to win Hamiltonian or Breeders' Crown? What was, uh, or did you just want to have a lot of good horses? The goal, I can't have goals, I don't know, but the, the goal is to do the best you can do. Do and the best you can I do. If I can win the biggest race, uh, that's Hamilton, if you can win that race, it's very good. Have you been training uh, pacers over here? Because you guys uh, only, a lot of trotters. Uh, we have a couple of pacers. How do you like them? Oh, I like them. Horses are horses, yeah, right? Yes, horses good horses are horses. horses. Alright, let's, let's talk about the Hamiltonian last year. Hmm. Uh, perfect spirit. Going into the race, you had won uh, an elimination of the the Earl Beale at Pocono, right? Yes. Uh, how was he at two years old? Uh, he was a medium horse. Medium Not so horse? Good, but he, he grew a lot until he be on the winter, until he was three. And okay. He was a different horse when he was three. Now training down at, at uh, uh, three, here we go, we, we got the sun, you know, I always got to yeah. worry about the sun. Yeah. Uh, when he started qualifying at three, right about this time of the year, did you know he was a little bit better? Yeah, he had trained good uh, before he qualified, and uh, yeah, he he was much better. Than he he was very fast, right? Yeah, he very, was fast and strong, and had a very good head. Very, very, very yeah. strong. So you knew you had a top horse. Yes, uh, I but think so. before yes. uh, around this time, right? Mm, yes, ready to qualify. Now uh, he wins the elimination of the Earl Beale. Right, he beat uh, Andy Miller's horse. Yeah, I don't remember now. But Devious yeah. man. Oh, yeah. he doesn't remember. He's <laughs> he's won so many races, he doesn't even remember. Uh, how was he in the 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 final at Pocono? In Erbil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He finished, he, I think, fourth, right? And oh, he, he was not the the best at the time. He was not the best at the no. time. Mm. Uh, and then going into the Hamiltonian, how'd you feel? Yeah, after the elimination. No, I, no, before the elimination. Before the elimination. Before the elimination. Oh, I have a good horse and he trained good, so the feeling was good. Now, uh, that week, I'm sure, uh, back to heat races, Hamiltonian, you're used to heat races, right? Elite Lop and all mm -hmm. the other races, so you, you didn't have any worries. Two races one day, right? No, I, I think it's uh, it's not so tough for the horses to race two heat the same day. Mm -hmm. It's uh, more tough to race two. Uh, every week for the horses was it more tough on you because now you, you you just as a driver no it doesn't matter doesn't matter no. so now uh was the goal for the elimination to just make the final yes just whatever he does finish third fourth fifth whatever no, just make, to go to the final make the final because if you win the elimination who cares you know, I, you gotta win the final right <laughs> yes the final was the important yeah uh now going into the final how did you, uh, how were the, did you feel that the other horses were all, you could beat him? Yeah, I have a good feeling before the final. Uh, he was not tired in the elimination and uh, a lot of the other horses looked tired. So, looked tired, yeah. Yeah, so I have a good feeling. How about, um, was there a specific horse that you were worried about? Because we had Long Tom with Melander, well, and, and his other horse, Enterprise. We had uh, uh, International Money with Lindy Farms and Andy Miller's horse. And there was a couple of uh, Burke's horse, What the Hill. Was there a specific horse that you were uh, worried about? I think it was uh, What the Hill I was most afraid of because they do some changes on him and pull the shows. Okay, and then so I, I understand that he's going to do a good race. So even because What the Hill before was okay, he was a good horse, but he didn't win any big races. Uh, no, but he, at three. He's the uh, horse coming up. Uh, he's coming moment, up. Yeah, so. so you saw that he pulled the shoes. Yeah. I a saw little that worried now. Ah, uh, yes, it was the horse to beat. Okay. 
Uh, what, uh, how about long time when he made a break in the elimination? I'm sure that helped too, right? Yes, sir. that helped too. Mm -hmm. And so now we're we're going into the final. I love it in a big race when drivers are aggressive. Yeah, you can sit the, uh, as the last two horse, then you never win. A race. You, you can't win. So, so you uh, <laughs> did you did you know you were going to the lead? No, I, but I I tried to come. To the lead. Right, that, a, but, but, but but before the gate, uh, if I don't need to leave too fast. Okay, so you wanted to you wanted to put him out there mm. and hopefully not uh, have to strain him too much, right? Yes. So you make it to the front. Are you looking around? <laughs> was he was it good? Easy? Yeah, he was easy, and I don't need to go so fast the first half. So. Were you? Uh, did you want to follow a horse? Did, did you want to let somebody go or no? You no, wanted no. you wanted the lead. Yes. If somebody if somebody came at you, were you gonna let him go? No. No. That's it. Big race. <laughs> <laughs> big race. I, I love it. Big race mentality. Now you have uh, what the hill? Did you know it was what the hill behind yeah, you? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now uh, what are you thinking at the half mile, going into the last turn? Yeah. Not too fast the first half, and I have a, a good horse in the last turn. Good horse in the last yeah. turn. And uh, you guys sprinted. We're we're not worried about the whole thing with the stretch. I think that you you know horse finished first, second, whatever you want to call it. Uh, horse deserved it. You you deserved to put the horse where he was supposed to be, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, did you do you think you could have drove him any better or worse? No, I no, I don't think so. You, yeah, I, <laughs> I feel that you you won the race putting the horse because everybody was waiting. Yes. Everybody was waiting. You can't. Yeah. You can't win when you're when you're waiting, right? Mm. Now, uh, uh, race is official. Uh, the horse gets disqualified. Um, is it a little bit? Because you couldn't just celebrate right away, right? No. <laughs> you had to wait. Everybody's waiting. Everybody's waiting. Did you think that uh, you were going to get placed up? No, I was happy that I finished second. Yeah. And, uh, I was on the backside and they take it easy with the horse off the race and then they'll come to the, to Listen, the bar and they, they say, oh, you win the race. It's, it's still a pretty good check for second, right? Still, oh, a, yes, yes. still a nice piece of money. So, uh, But uh, now now they announce that you won the race. Mm. Was it, can, if you would have, like, can you be happy? Who Who's more happy? You, Sarah, Yannicka, who's <laughs> crying more? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Did, did, did you? All right, all right. No but it's a different feeling when you're the second in the. It's a. It's still good if you win. It's still Re, good it's though. It's a real win, but it's a, a bigger check if you win. But it's a bigger check if a, you win. It's a different feeling if you are the first one in it. Sure. Uh, were you able to maybe that night, Sunday afterwards, Monday? When did you finally sit down and say, "Wow, we won the Hamiltonian." <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Still not. <laughs> no. Well, I'll tell you, technically still not yet. But but overall, I mean, that's, I would say just this year, you got to go and do it again, right? Win the Hambo back to back. I'm going to try. You're going to try. Yeah. Uh, do we have any, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're going to go over some of the horses, uh, but uh, same kind of scenario as last year. You have some horses that are probably coming better at three. Yes, uh, we have two. The similar geese and six pack and. Both of them uh, coming, what you say, coming back. Coming back better. Which better. one's going to win? I think Six Pack is okay. a better horse, but Jim Oleguis, he win at 52 the first race, so he's a little surprise. A little surprise. Yeah. Uh, you've had a couple of really fast horses over the year. Uh, what was the horse two years ago um, that you guys had uh, that won in like 151? He was the fastest horse a couple of years ago. No, 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 no. Three-year-old. Three-year-old. Three yeah. He was really fast. Sarah, what horse am I talking about? There was a horse that uh, was really fast. He won in 51. Ah, uh, Maven's Way. Yeah, Maven's mm. Way. There we go. So so you you know how to get speed out of these things. Yes. Right? <laughs> you know how to go fast. Yeah. Uh, is is the Hamiltonian <laughs> the race to win for you? Or, or do, you, do you have to point them at the Hamiltonian? Yes, sir, I must do that. Like all these races beforehand, is it hard to prepare them for the Hamiltonian, or do you have to skip a couple of races? Oh, I don't know. It uh, depends on how the horse, or if he's sore, or if he's uh, healthy. And 
Okay. It's a lot of things to so you just, think about. When you had the Elite Lop, when you had the horse for the Elite was, uh, were they both the best horses going into that race? No, I don't remember. The second time I win, that horse, he had not raced for six, seven weeks. Okay. So, so did you direct it, like you trained him to win the Elite Lop? Yes. Okay, so it wasn't like... We'll race when we race, and if we enter the Hamiltonian, yeah, we enter the Hamiltonian, right? Maybe I train a little different than okay. the American trainer. They want to race every week, but I don't like to race every week. I want to prepare them at home on my tracks. And and and, and, and that's where you're training. Last question for you, as a driver, because you you you're one of the few that driver trainer. Training's a little different during the week. Driver, which do you like doing better? Big like, in big like, races. I like the both. Uh, if I train a horse and I have a good feeling, it's uh, it's uh, very nice to drive them in the race. Okay, so you feel that you get a little bit more confident? Yes. When you're training the horse? Yeah, I think so. Do you I know the horses. Uh, I train them every training and then, then I race them. And I know the horses and they know me. And it's a great feeling to race with them after you have trained them a sure. lot of hours. Do you like, uh, do you like the big races? Yes. Do you get nervous? No, I'm not nervous. I'm too old for that. <laughs> Sarah, t don't lie. Did he sleep the night before the Hamiltonian? Like a baby. Like a baby. So you sleep, mm. you nerves, ice mm. ice water running through your veins, right? What do you say? Uh, uh, it's, it's an American expression. You are you don't, uh, ice water in your veins, in your blood. You don't uh -huh. get nervous. <laughs> no. You don't get nervous, right? No. So then afterwards, Sarah, Saturday night, after these big races, does he sleep? So you, you just don't get nervous. No, but the... Uh, you can call it excited. Okay, the race. so you not like, nervous, but you must be excited and look forward for the race. You look going, if you don't do that, you are not normal. <laughs> then get out of the the business, right? If yeah. if you don't get excited, mm, yes. Uh, if uh, going to the gate, what, what's the moment when your business is it turning to the gate and they're on the gate? No, it's uh, the whole day. The, the whole day. day. You just yeah. business. Yes. Business as usual. I, I I love it. I love it, man. Uh, that's why he wins a lot mm. of big races, right? Yeah, he so. did fresh off three sire stakes wins last night up in Yonkers, mm. right? Yeah, there's nothing mm. back to work, just win and <laughs> win, come home, change, go in. <laughs> so, uh, we, we gotta let you go. Thank you, Alka. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll uh be winning a lot of big races this year, hopefully, right? Uh, we look forward to that. All, all of them, <laughs> we just win all of them. All right, thank you, Alka. <laughs>